Yo, what's going on guys, Flames in here, and today I'll be bringing you guys a brand new video. Today I'll be doing a price analysis and price prediction on Harmony or One. Before we get into it, if you could leave a like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to join my Telegram in the link in the description, it's just general crypto discussions here and there, and I'll also be posting different trades that I make every day. And lastly, if you would like to make up to $100 for free in Bitcoin, just join the BlockFi link in the description as well. Let's just sit back and enjoy. So starting off here on coin market cap and we have a $55,100 Bitcoin and then we have a $3,540 Ethereum. If we're to take a quick look here at BTC and uh, this is on the daily, obviously we're still in this sort of, it does look like a rising wedge, but let's not lie here. We all know that Bitcoin loves to break out of those uh, rising wedges when it is in a bull market. Higher time frame ones, a little bit more tricky, but hopefully we do manage to sort of flip this to support. We've hit our heads on it like three times here. And when we do manage to break above it, flip it to support, hopefully it will also be pretty conflict with this sort of 57, 58K mark. Then we'll be holding this and then we will be moving on up towards that all time high there. If we actually zoom in here and look at it on a little more sort of micro scale, on the sort of one hour over the past four days we've pretty much just been sort of ranging in between these two yellow lines that i have drawn up here as well we also are holding this uptrend line that i have drawn up here as well so hopefully we do manage to keep holding this and then we can get that move to the upside that we have been talking about it may not happen until our open on monday there but if it does manage to happen in the weekend and we get an even nicer weekly close than we have here we're absolutely chilling because this thing is looking super bullish in my opinion anyway and even if we do sort of reject off here and come down make a higher low here i would be buying any sort of dips that do happen but we'll move back on over here to coin market cap and now we will take a look at harmony or one and it is sitting at rank number 56 we are sitting at pretty much that 25 cents mark we are up 14.26 percent today our market cap is 2.6 billion and our circulating supply is 10.67 billion and our total supply there is 13.2 billion if we are to come down here our all-time high was today there um what's it saying it was an hour ago and it was 25.69 cents and we are currently down around three percent from then if you don't actually know what harmony one is we will have a quick read here Harmony is a blockchain platform designed to facilitate the creation and use of decentralized applications, also known as dApps. The network aims to innovate the way decentralized applications work by focusing on random state sharding, which allows creating blocks in seconds. According to the project's website, Harmony is expected to introduce cross-shard contracts and cross-chain infrastructure by the end of 2021. So if you want to do a little bit more fundamental research, obviously you can come up here and go to their Telegram or even their website there at harmony.one. And this is where you'll really sort of figure out everything about it. You can come here to the ecosystem. You can see everything that this thing is doing. And once you've actually come here and done all the fundamental research that you do want, you can come back over here to CoinMarketCap and you can take a look at markets and this will show you where you can actually pick yourself some up. So Binance is the number one volume holder there. Then you've got Binance.us, you have Yobi, Qcoin, Gate.io, PancakeSwap, Crypto.com, Bitmax, Wazerx, Probit Global, loads of different ones there. Just stick to the high confidence ones and you'll be chilling. Now let's move back on over here to TradingView and now we will do some price analysis and we will also do a price prediction as well. So zooming out here, I'm looking at this on more of a macro sort of scale here. We'll actually move this up here and then I will mark this up as support there. So obviously looking at this, just sort of zooming out here, this thing, you can just look at the chart and you can tell how bullish this thing is. So from the bottoms back in March, we will take our price range here and we will go there from around that 0.3 cents mark all the way up here this is the previous all-time high there and that would have been a seven thousand percent move if you're to keep coming on up here the all-time high just made today there is sitting at around that eight thousand percent mark as well so obviously this thing is doing crazy moves this year and from our dip here back in march we'll actually run a fib and see what sort of things we did so from the bottom there to the top and as you can see, we retraced down to the 786 mark and it did actually manage to hold us as support. We got two bounces off it there. And after the second bounce, we just managed to shoot on up here straight through the 618, hit our heads on the 0 0.5, back down to retest the 618 here. 
and then we just sort of continued on up towards the upside. We did actually top the previous high there again on the 13th of September, then had another retracement down here, the whole way back to the 0 0.5 before getting that monstrous bounce on up towards here. Finally breaking through this all time high here. These two sort of previous daily candles have topped out at the same area there. And we both actually got daily closes below this support resistance line that I have drawn up. It is currently support. If we do manage to sort of close above this, hopefully we can come down, retest this, and then we can get more moves to the upside. But if you're currently sitting without yourself some Harmony One, I will show you where you could actually place yourself some buy orders. So if you actually watch the last video here, I ran a fib from this bottom to this top, told you the ladder buy orders from this 382 all the way down to this 618. Obviously, we got a beautiful bounce off this 618 here. And if you did listen, you would have managed to get yourself around 116% uh, increase there on your bag. So congratulations if you did actually pick that up. But if you're currently sitting without yourself some, we could actually take the fib from maybe even this bottom here. And then we're obviously running it to the current high that we have just made. And I will drop back to the 4R here. So looking at this a little bit more zoomed in, we'll also click auto here. So on this current move that we are looking at now, we have moved there from around that 11.6 cents mark all the way up to that 26 cents mark. I wonder why it's actually a wee bit above that. We'll actually just bring it down to here. So it's lined up a little better. So obviously here we topped out, rolled over, came down, touched this 3 at 2, then bounced up towards this sort of 25.7 cents mark. It was saying 26 earlier. I don't really know. It's probably in between there. But yeah, we got a nice bounce off that 3 at 2. Pretty confident with that sort of 20 moving average as well. If we do manage to top out here and roll over a little more, we could come down here and test this sort of support that I have drawn up here or even in and around this 236. This is a pretty strong uptrend here. So I would say buys in and around this 236 definitely would not be a bad shout. But a little more bearish scenario on this. Say we are to roll over a little more. You could have another buy order in on this 382 where we did manage to top there pretty much there on our daily open today. Then you could also have another buy order in on this 0.5 here as well. And then I'd be saying lastly, I'd have one maybe down as low as this 0 0.618. I'm not saying we will come down this low, but obviously things do happen. We could sort of retrace down here and then get our bounce on up towards to make new all time highs. Who knows? I would just have those buy orders set laddered down from around that 22 and a half cents mark all the way down to around 17 cents. Now let's move on down here and we will take a look at the BTC pair. Where is it? one BTC there we go and uh, it is up 11.5% today and once again if you actually managed to watch the previous video I did have this fib drawn up said to have buy orders set probably from this 618 here down to this one and we actually did manage to tap this 618 and then get a beautiful move on up towards the upside that is a 60% move there on the BTC pair and as you know BTC has been pumping pretty hard over this past sort of week or two and one is doing very well to outperform BTC but I would say, honestly, same sort of story here. You could probably have your buy orders. You could maybe even ladder it from around this 382 now down towards this 618 if you would like. So I'd maybe ladder your buy orders from around that sort of 380 sats mark all the way down there to maybe even around that 300 sats mark. Also fairly confident with that 360 moving average there as well. So we'll move back on up here to the USDT pair. And now I will do a price prediction for you all. So for this, we will remove this fib here and delete these levels and we will drop back to the daily. So for this, we will be taking a fib and we'll be running it from the top of this move all the way down to the bottom. And as we always do, we will be looking at some fib extensions here. So I was making videos when this thing was sitting here at the bottom telling you to buy this dip up and that we were going to be seeing some huge moves and definitely seeing new all time highs within this year. So if you actually managed to sort of pick it up in and around there, you would have a 380% move there towards the upside. And I really do not think that this thing is done. So if we're to look on up here, this 1.618 is sitting in and around that 42, 43 cents mark. Honestly, just shy of that 45 cents mark. And I do think we will be pushing on up towards this even in the next sort of week or two. I know that may sound absolutely crazy, but even if we are to retrace a little here, 
come down even towards these sort of levels here and then get a bounce on up. I would say it'll only be a couple more dips there until we're up towards that sort of 42 cents mark. And this may have sounded crazy like a couple of months back, but I was getting called an absolute moon boy when I was saying that this thing was gonna break new all time high soon and we could see a $1 Harmony one this year. People were slagging me saying that that had no chance of happening. And honestly, I do think that we could be pushing on up past this 3.618 here at around that 95 cents mark. I think we could be blasting through that and pushing on up towards this $1 price point very easily. Like if you take a look at some charts, I've said it before, but these things will be flattened out. Like once this thing starts printing proper candles, this sort of stuff will look like this. It will just look flat. And I'm excited for the days that that happens. But honestly, I could see us pushing on up past this $1 mark and even on up towards this $1.50 mark at this 5.618. Now, if you think that sounds crazy, I'm sorry, but I will show you what this actually would take to get there. So we'll take our calculator out and not full screen it there. Um, so $1.50 and we will divide that by our current price, which is 0 0.2475. And that would give us a 6x from current prices. So if we move back over here, take a look at our market cap and multiply it by it, that would be 2,639,054,054. Oh, so that would give us around a $16 billion market cap for us to reach that $1.50 Harmony One. And as crazy as that may sound, that is not actually that much money for this market. So $16 billion would put us there in between Doge and Luna. There's actually quite a big gap in between there, but it would put us at around that 11th rank there, just below Dogecoin. And honestly, when a lot more money starts flowing into this market, I'd say towards the end of Q4, coming into sort of Q1, Q2 of 2022, when this cycle is in its parabolic sort of state, there is gonna be so much money flowing into this and I would honestly say that around a sort of $16 billion market cap would probably even be pushed out of that top 25 rank there. Now, if you have done your fundamental research on this thing, you will understand that this thing definitely has the fundamentals to allow this thing to have sort of $16 billion pumped into it and for it to push on up towards that $1.50 price point. I hope that's what you wanted to hear. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. I love you all. Peace.